forget who we really are together. No matter what routines we fall into, no matter how habitual every day becomes, I promise to not only love you, but to keep loving you more and to stay as we are in love and to also grow together through this life and learn together and push each other to be the best we are. Because we see in each other what we do not see in ourselves. And we need to remind each other of how awesome each other is. I promise to always remind you how awesome you are and that you can do anything because you've taught me that I can do anything. You have pushed me to push myself and I'm a better person and a more confident person because of that. I thank you and I love you to the moon. Today we continue our journey together side by side, hand in hand. We walk through each day of this life together. Timothy and Jennifer, who are a perfect balance for each other, you have a rare and precious relationship. As you exchange your vows of faithfulness, we will be listening and supporting you with our love. <clears throat> Timothy, please repeat after me. I take you, Jennifer. I take you, Jennifer. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To love with devotion. To love with devotion. To forgive and to understand. To forgive and to understand. And to deeply trust. And to deeply trust. To cherish our similarities. To cherish our similarities. And appreciate our differences. And appreciate our differences. I promise. I promise. To honor your family. To honor your family. Oh, to honor your family. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> I respect your decisions. I respect your decisions. To rely on your strengths. To rely on your strengths. And overlook your weaknesses. And overlook your weaknesses. With unwavering love. With unwavering love. Together we will face. And together we will face. Our greatest challenges. Our, our greatest challenges. Overcome our sorrows. Overcome our sorrows. Share in the laughter. Share in the laughter. Our lives together. Our lives together. We will create. We will create. Wonderful new memories. Wonderful new memories. All this I promise you. All this I promise you. Now and forever. Now and forever. Jennifer, will you please repeat after me? Uh, I thank you, Timothy. I thank you, Timothy. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love with devotion. To love with devotion. To forgive. To forgive. To understand. To understand. And to deeply trust. And to deeply trust. To cherish our similarities. To cherish our similarities. And appreciate our differences. And appreciate our differences. I promise. I promise. <laughs> to honor your family. <laughs> To honor your family. To honor your family. And respect your decision. Mm -hmm. Respect your decision. To rely on your strengths. To rely on your strengths. And overlook your weaknesses. And overlook your weaknesses. With unwavering love. With unwavering love. Together we will face. Together we will face. Our greatest challenges. Our greatest challenges. Overcome our sorrow. Overcome our sorrows. And share, <laughs> share in our laughter. And share in the laughter. Our lives together. Our lives together. We'll create. Create. Wonderful new memories. Wonderful new memories. All this I promise you. All this I promise and you. Now and forever. Now and forever. Faith, May I have hope, things, and love abide. But the greatest of these is love. Michael, this is the time in the ceremony where I like to ask the groom to take a nice deep breath. All right. <laughs> Very good. I just want to share with you, Michael, this is the part of the ceremony. We like to refer to it as commitment time. Okay. These are your vows. I'm ready. Hmm? Okay, then. Take my bouquet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. Just hang on there, Christiana. <laughs> we won't let anything bad happen to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these, these are your vows coming up, and I just want to let you know that over the years, mm -hmm. At this point in the ceremony, I have had three gentlemen faint. Yes. Not you. I just I want to make up. sure you're good. I got back up. <laughs> Michael, will you take Christiane to be your wedded wife, to I love, to respect, to continually bestow on her your heart's deepest devotion? I will. And Christiana, will you take Michael to be your wedded husband? to love, to respect, to continually bestow upon him your heart's deepest devotion. I will. I did not hear you, Christiana. I will. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to ask you now to 
repeat some words after me. All right. Michael, you're going to be first. I also like the father of the music alongside. Love is friendship set to music. Of course, someone else has said love is friendship caught fire. <laughs> and we all understand that too. The two of you come here this evening, obviously looking forward to your future together, the hopes, the dreams that you've talked about. But I suspect there's also a part of you that looks back, remembering the journey that you've traveled. A part of what you remember today is uh, gratitude for people that have traveled from distances. I talked to somebody that came from Japan, I think. I talked to somebody that came from New York. So there's some people that travel the distance to come and share this too. with you. I know you're grateful for that. You've also spoken about grandparents that have been important influences in your life. Unable to be here, perhaps to think of them as, as being here in spirit. You look back and remember how you first met. She was the competition. Right? Absolutely. Your sales manager kind of used the, the, each other as a, the motivation. <laughs> Showing you Rika's sales numbers for the month. You know, you're slipping, you got to catch up. Showing you then the sales figures, you know, he's getting ahead. And this went on, I don't know how long, but uh, for a while. And uh, Rika, you told me that uh, it wasn't um, sparks that flew, it was daggers that flew. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, you were the competition, man. Yeah? But uh, th then you told me you had the opportunity to work side of Lennon, and your first realization was he wasn't such a bad guy. And then you kind of discovered he was an okay guy, and then he was a good guy, and just kind of, maybe he grew on it. I don't know what was going on. But you look back to those uh, days and weeks, and uh, Christmas rolled around, and I guess you found out that uh, Rico was.